Right, morning folks. Uh, it's that time of year now where Motron's going to start coming out more. So I'm going to give it a few, uh, bit of a spring clean, give it a good wash, and I'm going to uh, purify the water system as well. I've also been asked by in, in a couple of comments on a video how I actually uh, bleed all the water system so I don't get any air in it. What I'll do is I'll show you how, do, how I do that as well. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as this uh, called Pure Clean, uh, I've worked out I need about 20 teaspoonfuls for the uh, water tank I've got, and I'll show you how I go about priming all the water system, making sure there's no air in it, etc. And I'll leave this to stand for most of the day. I'll drain my fresh water tank of this and then fill it with fresh water tank a couple of times and then pump it through the taps and everything so everything's flush clear it's uh, some people say they use Milton liquid or something like that for babies bottles and that but that attacks the stainless steel of the boiler internals of the boiler and that so I'm, I'm not happy about doing that so I bought that it cost me about six pounds 85 I think it was and it'll do two lots of cleaning, or more than two, two lots of cleaning, because it's about 200, and, I think it's 400 grams there. So it'll do at least two cleanings, also clean out like the watering can and uh, my Acarol. I don't use that very often, but uh, I can clear that clean out as well. Also, I've seen on another channel, which is kind of with the Coxes, that he uses silicon spray on all these door seals and window seals which keeps them playable so I'm going to go around and do all my uh, locker doors, window seals etc with that and hopefully that'll keep them uh, fairly supple it's nice to see, uh, it's a nice morning this morning uh, it's nice to see the sunshine after all that rain we've got so what I'll do now is I'll show you the, the uh, actual motor home is well below 3 degrees so that frost, my frost valve will be open so what I'll have to do is put the heating on a bit that means I'll have to plug it into the garage and that I'll not show you that but I'll have everything ready and then I'll show you where the frost valve is and then I'll start with the purifying of the water system I'll not bother uh, showing you <laughs> washing motor home and things like that but uh, we do go away on Wednesday so I want to get all this done before we go away Right, we'll carry on with the purification and I'll show you what I do when I prime all the motor on water system up. Right, I'll need to get this heating on because I'm freezing in here even though the sun's out. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, so dug down, right between all the heater pipes etc, is my uh, frost valve. I've got a torch down there so we can see what we're doing. Uh, you can see this, I've got it so it's in the drain position but the button's out as well. So what I have to do is turn that uh, switch and press the button in and if it keeps popping out it means it's below 3 degrees so I'll definitely need to warm the motor home up. Right so I've changed the switch over I'm not sure whether you can see the button on here but the button is stopping out so I definitely need to uh, start the heater up to warm it up a bit so I can keep the water in the boiler. Right I'll plug in and get power on and put heating on for a bit. Right, just in case people don't know, uh, a normal campsite you have the blue uh, three pin plug you plug into this site electrics but when you're at home if you don't have one of those plugs you can buy an adapter which has got a normal three pin plug on it. So I'll show you that now. So that's your uh, female end and on the other end you've got your uh, normal Europe English 3 pin plug so you just plug that into your power socket right so that's that all connected now I'll go and switch power on it motor home now don't forget this is the last end you plug in always connect to your motor home first or else you're walking around with a live live end yeah whatever you do always make sure you plug that end in first 
and make sure your cable's all unwound. Right, so now I'll switch on my control panel. And that little light there shows you're connected to electric. So I'll turn the heating on. Set it to 17. Change it to the next one. I want water off. And I don't want fuel. We'll just have electric too. So now that will start the heater up and hopefully warm the area up where the frost valve is so I can start uh, priming up the water system. But it doesn't stop me filling up my fresh water tank. So we'll start doing that now. Right, so what I'll do is put uh, fan speed onto high as well. Get some heat in the motor home. I've opened all the cupboards up again just to get some heat into the cupboards and that. As you know, I always keep it in opening storage. But uh, you can just feel the coldness in the back of the uh, cupboards. And at some point up there, there's a connection for a solar panel. I had trouble starting motor on this morning. It's only three weeks since we used it. So I had to borrow it to uh, battery jump pack from uh, Caravan Holdings to start motor on this morning. So I may look into uh, either having it fitted one myself or having a solar panel fitted. That connection is supposed to go through this uh, Shoe Sun controller. It's already pre-wired, so I understand, but I'm not sure. I'd have to do some investigation into it. Right, so eating's blowing nicely. What I'll do now is I'll go and work out the correct amount of teaspoons I need and we'll start filling the fresh water tank up. Uh, we don't actually drink water from out of the tank but uh, this supposedly descales all your inside of your boiler because you go to different areas you get hard water, soft water, different lime scales etc. So uh, it'll help with boiler, clean it boiler itself. But like I say we usually have a bottle and we go and fill it up at uh, a tap and we use that for cooking or drinking, making tea etc. What I always carry is a 10 litre uh, watering can just for topping up the tank. So what I'm going to do is put all the uh, Pura Clean I need to fill my tank up and then top my tank up. The uh, water tank on the shoes on is in what they call like a service hatch area so you've got like electricity and everything all its same hatch and you fill up through this uh, I've bought as a hose connection. Just got that on. So you can screw that on, connect your hose straight away onto it. Say so just standing there holding hose. Right, we'll go mix the Pura cleaner and get the tank filled up. Right, I've worked it out, it's 100 litre tank, just well, just under 100 litres. So I need about 22 teaspoons full. What I'll do is I'll put a bit of water in there first, so it's got somewhere to dissolve and then fill it up and then I can pour it straight in and then top the whole fresh water tank up and that'll start sterilising the actual fresh water tank. It's a typical tap, never sits properly over. Right, so I'll not show you me putting 22 teaspoons full of uh, Pura Clean in a, book, in a watering can. I'll show you when I've done. Right, so that's uh, 22 teaspoons full. So I've still got enough for another sterilise and probably to do me uh, Aquarol etc. at a later date. I don't think this trip we're going to be using as Aquarol because we're moving on every few days. So the water in the fresh water tank should last us the amount of days we're stopping on site. So 
So that's it, Pure Clean cleans and purifies water systems including stainless steel boilers. Three. Right, so I'll give it a good steer. Right, we're going to pour it in. I put heating on diesel actually. Mix so it's warming up quicker. Fatigue went out of that. Right, start filling. Up and fill it up with water. Right, this is the hose I use when I'm on site or filling up anywhere. What I do is make sure I run plenty of water through it before I connect it up to the motor home just to get rid of any stale water, etc. I may even give this a uh, sterilise, but I'm not sure I'm going to manage to do that one. It's one of those expanding hoses. Right, so I'll turn the tap on and just let it uh, flush through for a bit. Right, so I'll screw on my adapter. Show that dart. Oh, this is a bit short from uh, moving out back to get house. Let that up like that. And we'll start filling. So we say you uh, hold it hose part, but you just do that. Straight off eBay, I think you're only about four pounds something. IBC thread. I've never had that off, but uh, I suppose at some point, probably end of end of this season, I'll take that on and have a good look inside. Thank you. See if there's any debris or anything inside it. So you'll be able to get your hand in the whole tank and clean it and clean out the bottom. I've slowed the water flow down now because it's nearly full. I think we're definitely full. <laughs> right, so here we are now. That's water tank all filled up. Uh, what I'll do now is check that uh, frost valve. It's warmed up a lot in here now, so it should be above three degrees. So I'll make sure that button presses in. Then I can start priming up the water system. Right, so if you remember, you see my video of getting it winterised, getting it ready for winter and emptying all the system out, I always leave the taps open and half and half. Same with the shower. All we'll do is close all those now. Close those two. And it's the same with the kitchen sink, half and half. And we close all those. Right? So what I do now, there's no water can get into the boiler or anything until the pump's running. So what I'll do now is I'll start the pump up. It'll start pumping through from the water tank. Right, so that's the water pump running. Which is inside there as well. And I start with the bathroom sink and turn it hot. Right, you can hear all air getting pushed out. This is the furthest point away from the actual uh, pump. It's what I do when it gets close to spitting and spurting. I put my hand over it like that. I normally have a rag, but I forgot one this time. Really moving up the pipes, and here it comes. So I'll wait until we get a really good flow. You can still hear the air coming out, can't you? Yeah?
Right, so turn off the hot, turn it to cold, do the same again. I'll turn it hot again, just double check, turn it in metal. Shut off, check where the pump stops, that means I've got any leaking part work. And I move on to my shower. It's going to be rather hard with one hand. Right, so now I do the shower. I put it in the sink. You can hear that, all the air's out of that one. Turn it off, put it to cold, turn back on again. Turn off, full central, so we've got our thing all together. And very good. The reason I've done it in kitchen sink just to show you is because uh, I'm on a slight incline on, on the drive, so the water's collected where there's no plug hole. Normally, we don't have an issue. Right, we'll move to kitchen sink now. Right, unfortunately I've done this sink, but I weren't recording at the time, which seems a bit silly, doesn't it? But I do the same thing, put it on hot, and pump through, switch off, cold, pump through, switch off, central, Like that, and then double check the pump stops. Now what we'll do is leave all that uh, to soak for most of the day, and then we'll pump out with fresh water. Now we're all primed up. Right, so that's how I uh, prime all my motor home up. I hope it's been of benefit to people. So what I'll do is I'll leave it soaking most of the day, it says between 1 and 12 hours, so if I give it 6 to 8 hours we should be alright. And then uh, I'll show you a bit later on how I'm going to flush the system out. So we'll see you a little bit later on in the video. Right, that's had its first wash of the season. Nice and clean now. Well, the Pura Clean's been soaking for uh, about five, six hours now. So we'll drain the fresh water tank. Right, so that's that. A few hours. We'll just empty it out into a bucket and then flush it out a few times. a bit earlier on so you can uh, have a smell of your fingers. Shower. And then the kitchen sink. Right, I hope this uh, little video has been of benefit to some people. Uh, I did, I get, like I say, I did get a couple of questions regarding how I primed up my motorhome water system because some people keep going air into it, but that, I've not had any issues doing it that way. So hopefully, uh, whether you do it that way or not, I'm not sure. But uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. And if you haven't 
to like to click that little notification bell it'll tell you when I want to upload some more videos it won't bombard you with emails but it'll just tell you that a new video has come onto my channel right I'll call that it for today and we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye